All right, this video is going to be kind of like a tractor detective 101 kind of uh, trying to figure out how the tractor that you have came to be the way it is. This idea came from me because I got a comment on a video on this about the F14 stickers, even though I call it an F12. It is an F12, it just has the F14 steering. And part of the reason why I think they did that is because it's, uh, it's a lot more comfortable to drive. The steering wheel up a lot closer to where you're sitting. But, you know, you got, these, you got the tag and serial number in there, which when I looked it up, came back to 1936. Snow falling off the roof. And uh, that's not the only thing I got that's mislabeled so we'll get to that this is the other one that I got that's mislabeled as you can see it's a got super C stickers on it this is just a regular C because super C's would have disc brakes these have band brakes so I'm guessing the reason why it's got super C stickers on it is the tank and possibly the hood came off a, a super C the grill may have two, but the grills on the Super C's were even were taller than these. As you can see, you look down the side, the back end of that tank is kicked up. Now, I, I did a video on uh, casting codes a while back. When I checked the casting codes on here, all of them have the same year code. I think it's a uh, year T. Should that be a 48 49 something like that I can't remember so but the reason why I know it's the tank at least came off of super C's like I said the back of the tank is kicked up so they would have made them a support bracket there taller and then other things that you can kind of look at is with this 400 you see on this side here I know the radiator has been taken out tried to take it out something because you see I got these two bolts in here. I'll go over to the other side. They're not there. Because the bracket that's behind here, they took out. And when they put it back together, they flipped it in wrong. So now the holes don't line up. And one of the reasons why I think they had the sheet metal wasn't on this when I bought it was because they probably broke all the fasteners and hardware and just didn't want to buy anymore because all the clips that these bolts screw into that was still loose all the bolts that those clips screw into pretty much all of them were gone and uh why i think the lights were mounted up there is because that's where they're supposed to be and they're all gone I did have the plate on this side, but no pipes or no wires or nothing. So once I get parts and stuff, I'll, I'll get it all figured out and put together. So I mean, it's just a couple things to kind of look at, look for. So I guess, till next time.